praying, we've been praying all year, believing for greater works, John 14, 12. And we've been standing on that promise that everything God could do, we could do greater. And we've been training up the children to see God, to hear God. And they actually caught a wave of his glory at our BBS. And one morning on Sunday during worship, the worship leader, Stephanie, just asked, who is at BBS? Who watched the children get healed? Who wants to receive healing? Children wanted healing is what they came for. And so they received healing. All the children's hands, just like you see here, it was so beautiful, so heartfelt. They came expecting and laying hands and expecting Jesus to heal. And Jesus healed her leg and her name is Alice. So I pray that we'll be able to get Alice here and all the kids here another day and have some ministry time with our leaders like Alicia and Sheena and Stephanie and Daniela to be able to pour out what they're carrying because they are world changers. They are revivalists. They went home like a fire telling everyone at home what God did that Sunday. And so, yes, God, yes, God. He's so good. He's so faithful. So faithful. So that following Sunday, they came expecting for more. More kids expecting healing. More kids were invited. So our whole time ended, ended up being ministry time because we wanted God to have his way. They've been learning everything all year round. Now they got to walk in what God had taught them through us. So it was a mighty wave of God's love, of God's glory, of God's healing power. A rushing wave is all consuming fire just filled the space. And we remained there until we saw children healed. So we had about seven kids getting coming up for healing, receiving healing. We're contending for families. It didn't stop with the child there. It was breaking off generational curses. Kids in one of the seasons walked around like the walls of Jericho, tearing things down in spirit, claiming these children claimed out things they wanted to see break down. And so we started seeing those things. We're actually walking that manifest presence of what God is doing and what God has trained and equipped us in. So I'm so thankful that we have such a mighty team of chosen ones, ones that carry revival. And we're calling ourselves revivalists because we're carrying his power and giving him all glory and heaven come down and changing the atmosphere. So what I want to do is have another ministry time at the end of service with our kids and our leaders coming out and laying hands on everyone and releasing what they carry. Because all of us carry a different anointing, a different gift, a different calling. And so we'd like to impart what we have for you, just like you guys have imparted your gifts to us. So that means that we see kids praying for people today? Though. Yes. Do you want it today? Sure. Can we bring them out now? Okay. At the end of service? At the end of service. Okay. Can we give parents permission to do it next Sunday? Sure. I like to do everything in order where I have permission yeah, from the parents. And yes. So I will make sure we have parental consent so that we can she move forward have on the next Sunday. So. <laughs> so thank you so much. She's for on fire and so is our children's ministry. I'm fire. Oh, so so thank you. Oh, and thank I want to ask you guys, please send us your testimonies. You guys that sowed seeds to sponsor for kids to come and be a part of our BBS, that lit up a fire. So I want to hear what God did because you sowed a seed or because you donated food or because you brought your children. I want to hear those testimonies that they came home sharing. I just got a testimony from Sue Shea, one of the um, directors, founders of our school with Amy Wickstrom. They actually showed me a testament of a little girl that raved about our camp, that ours was the best BBS because two reasons. We prayed and laid hands on her. So I want to hear those testimonies. Please email them to me so that we could share with others. Because as we all know, as you've trained us well, testimony means do it again, Lord. So we expect God to do it again on a greater level. Amen. Amen. Amen.